Welcome to Crock-Pot Tuesday. Today I'm making a cowboy chicken. Cowboy chicken with simple ingredients. Nice and easy. Just throw it in the crock pot and it's done in five hours. So stay tuned for Crock-Pot Chicken. Cowboy chicken, that is. So today, you get to see my lovely face. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in the crock pot. Find the right angle. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in the crock pot today. First off, we have chicken. Two large chicken breasts. And I'm just going to put them in their hole. I'm not going to cut them up. Because later on, they're going to be nice and tender. And then I'm going to shred them. Kind of like a pulled pork, but with chicken. That goes in the crock pot. Two chicken breasts. Look at the size of these babies. They're nice and, nice and juicy and tender. Now I've got to wash the hands because I touched the chicken breasts. Now I got simple ingredients today. Things that you could find in your cupboard and in your pantry. Now let's start with the tomatoes. We got some Italian seasoned stewed tomatoes here in a can. And we're just gonna dump that in. And we're just gonna dump that in there right on top of that chicken. Just like that. Now we're gonna take the can of corn Got a can of whole corn, kernel corn, and dump that in right on top of the chicken. Hooey! Smells kind of corny in here now. So I got a can of black beans. Black beans. I rinsed them in cold water, took that black sludge that comes in the can and got rid of it. So they're rinsed, they're strained, and I'm putting them in the crock pot. Just on top of that. Just on top of everything, just like that. Mix it around there. there we go. Now I didn't have any Fresh peppers in the fridge, but I had frozen in the freezer. So I got yellow, orange peppers, and I'm going to cut them up. Put them in the crock pot. Woo! Woo They're cold. They're cold on the hands. Still a little frozen. So... Not gonna flip the video for this part, but you get the gist of it. Take my scissors, take my peppers, and cut them. I feel like I'm being looked at. Someone's staring at me. Okay. Show me. Okay. And last but not least, well, before the before the spices, we have a sweet potato. Now, you can put normal potatoes, but I don't have normal potatoes. I don't have white potatoes or yellow potatoes. I have sweet potato. So I'm going to put a sweet potato in there. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato. That's my sweet potato. Very bright. Very, very bright today. 
trying to find a good angle is impossible. There we go. There's my sweet potato. My nice big sweet potato. I'm just going to cut her up and put her in there. Okay, so we got the potatoes in there. I'm just going to bring everything on top of the chicken now, I guess. I forgot about the potatoes. I'm going to need some liquid. There's going to be liquid coming off the lid from the condensation. All right. Now I'm going to take some taco seasoning. Mild taco seasoning. And I'm going to put that on top of it all. Mix it up a little bit. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. All right. That's it. That's it. Hooey! Cowboy chicken. For five hours in a crock pot. And we put it on high. No. Let's put it for six hours on low. How about that? Six hours on low. And then we have a beautiful meal for dinner tonight. Well, I still have two hours and 39 seconds left, so I'm just going to put some Monterey Jack. Now, this Monterey Jack I got off the food truck. I froze it, so I'm just going to put some of that on top. I'm doing it halfway through because, well, you know, the cheese melts pretty fast, and we don't want to uh, overheat it. There we go. Oh, look at the chicken. Look at that chicken. It's time to pull it, actually, so I'm going to just pull that chicken with my little gadget I have here. Let's see. So this little gadget here, I'm gonna try that out. So tear up the chicken. Great for pulled pork and shredded chicken beef. Chicken and beef, okay. So I'm just gonna put the lid back on for a minute. For a minute. Okay, so we're going to do this Wolverine style. Do, do, do. Let's pretend we're a bear. Do, 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 do. So, okay, so these claws were a prize at our Christmas party for a Christmas bingo. My dad won it, but my dad doesn't do pulled pork, so I always want to try it. Now I'm trying it. Just shred that up. Yeah, look at that. It just comes apart. Let's get that beast up here. Rah! Look at that. It just comes apart like nothing. Look at that beautiful chicken. Yeah. I could be doing it wrong. Who knows? But it's doing its job. Come apart very nicely. Where's the other one? Or is that both of them? Holy cow, they just came apart like nothing. Look at that. Nice chunks. Here. Yeah, the other one's going. Holy cow. That just, oh no, there it is. I was gonna say, I didn't take both of them apart, did I? Go like that. Hold it with a claw. Rawr! This is how bears would eat. Clawing that meat apart. It's kind of hot. Holy shit. It's really hot, guys. Really hot. I hope I press record. I did. Okay. Hot. 
looked at. I could be using it this wrong, but like I said, I've always wanted to try this thing. And I think it's my new toy. Shredded. There we go. Big chunks, but it's okay. This is going to be great on a panini bun later. Or a tortilla. Or a pita. Or any kind of bun. This is like a pool pork. But it's cowboy chicken. Cowboy chicken. Did you hear that, Peter? You know, my friend, last time I made um, hobo stew, he's been talking about it since then. Every time I see him, he says, hobo stew. So this is for you, Peter. Cowboy chicken. Cowboy chicken. There's a new line for you to say to me every time you see me. Gotta love it when you have fans, right? There you go. So now that that's done, I got the Monterey Jack. Like I said, I got the Monterey Jack for free on the food truck. So this is not going to cost me anything. Jeez, I'm to break down the house. Tearing down the kitchen. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to put half because I want the other half for breakfast tomorrow. There we go. All right. So now I'll put the lid on. And I have two and a half hours to go. I could probably eat it right now, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait two and a half hours just to make sure that everything is cooked right. Well, it's time to check on my cowboy chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smells mighty good in here. Oh, look at that. Looks delicious. Supper's ready. Supper's ready. Now I could put this on a taco or in a taco or on rice, but I'm putting it on a nice fresh panini bun. Cut it all up. And I'm going to put it on there. All right. Get some nice juicy cowboy chicken. Get some nice juicy cowboy chicken in my spoon. Just place her on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be delicious. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. It's going to be hot. I guess I should wait a couple seconds. While we wait, let's look at that goodness. That crock pot goodness. Mm, 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 mm. I guess I got to get myself some thumbnails too for my YouTube channel. So. Cowboy chicken. And just because I'm by myself tonight, and I love my cheese, I'm just going to put a little Monterey Jack. Just some extra monterey jack on my sandwich. Yeah. Okay, so time for dinner. Now you all know this is going to be a messy sandwich, so I'm just going to napkin it up right here. Uh, right there like that, okay. And dig in. Look how good that looks. Cowboy chicken on a bun. Oh, this is going to be a messy one. 
Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 That was worth the wait. But I think I should have toasted my bun a little bit. I warmed it up, but I didn't toast it. But I'm going to add some. You guessed it. Frank's hot sauce onto that because I love Frank's hot sauce. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's get her done. Let's get her done. Oh my gosh, this is messy. The bun's falling apart. I wish I could show you. Maybe I can. Okay. All I need is two eyes there. <laughs> Let's do that. Can't do that. Oh well. Yeah, my sandwich is kind of falling apart. It's good, but I won't use a panini bread next time. It got too soggy. Like, look at this. Look at this. It's falling apart, right? It's getting too soggy. So, it's kind of gross. So, I'm just going to eat it in pieces, I guess. Mmm. Mmm. A1. That's some fine dining right there. Cowboy chicken fine dining. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. It's a messy eater. Definitely a messy thing to eat. But like I said, you can put this on rice, you can put this in a taco, you can put this on a, a pita bread. I would recommend something thick that's, you know, going to hold it. But uh, yeah, panini bread, panini buns is a no-go. Mm. It tastes okay. It just doesn't hold it, hold it very well. But anyways, thanks for watching Crock-Pot Tuesday. And thanks for joining me. I will see you again next Tuesday for another Crock-Pot episode. Until then, hoo -wee! enjoy your day and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.